Sunday 28th of June. Good morning. Welcome to the update from the recovery room. Beautiful day here again today. Blue sky, sunshine, as it should be. Trust you well. And uh, I wanted to talk about one of the key drivers of people's motivations, and it's reciprocation. Uh, we get what we send out and we receive what we therefore reflect into the universe. And a couple of examples of this, and there's an interesting story, at least I find it interesting, that um, about two and a half hours south of here is a little country called Switzerland, and it's full of mountains and cuckoo clocks and chocolate and bankers and, and people with guns in their basements as well. Don't mess with Switzerland, they're all armed and uh, ready to go. Anyway, Switzerland. Now, during World War II... Uh, Switzerland was a neutral country, and they didn't participate in any combat with any of the uh, of the uh, the countries. So, uh, what happened was that uh, when Germany flew their planes over Switzerland, the Swiss Air Force, who had Messerschmitt's Me 109s out of interest, uh, they, were, they were sort of tooled up quite well. The uh, Swiss shot them down, and uh, the Germans didn't like that, and they suggested strongly to Switzerland that they stop doing that uh, because there was a perception. Uh, I use the word perception that the, uh, sort of the, maybe the banking system was quite useful for Germany and Switzerland, and that relationship was maybe a little bit cosy. But um, anyway, they said, don't shoot our planes down. And what happened was, of course, the Americans, when they had their B-24s going across, uh, they used Switzerland as an air corridor as well, because not going to get shot down by the, uh, the, the Germans. So they flew over Switzerland, and of course, then the Swiss began to shoot down the Allied planes as well, and they shot down quite a number of them. Uh, British planes too. I think the first two planes were shot down by the Swiss were actually British bombers. Uh, but anyway, I think a few more American planes were shot down. And what happened out of terms of reciprocation, there's a number of cases of this where American bombers, the B-24s, would drop... Uh, incendiary and high explosive bombs on Switzerland and I think they uh, Zurich and Basel I think and there's some instances as well where the uh, the Mustang uh, uh, escort planes were strafing Swiss towns Swiss villages as well and of course this was put down to uh, error of uh, not judgment but error of navigation they got lost or the weather and this sort of thing and I, that's what the official history book will, will suggest. But I would also suggest that maybe if you shoot down a B-24 bomber flying over neutral airspace, um, then you, the, the Americans aren't going to like that very much. And they're going to come back and accidentally drop incendiaries on your town and that sort of thing. Now, that may or may not be true, but certainly there is reciprocation both ways. Interesting um, side note is that after the war, I think it was October 45, the actor, Hollywood actor uh, James Stewart, who himself was a decorated and highly regarded B-24 um, bomber pilot during World War II, he sat uh, adjudicating on a court martial because uh, where I think a pilot and a navigator had uh, dropped their bombs on, I think it was on Zurich, and they were being court-martialed for it, but surprisingly... The court martial found that uh, it was it was navigation aid error or something wrong with the magnet or whatever it was. So they they, they sort of got away with it. But there were it was definitely reciprocation. And also, what happened in terms of the further following reciprocation in 1949, the Americans had to pay. Well, had they they did pay uh, reparations to Switzerland for the damage caused. And uh, lives were lost as well, to be fair. So it wasn't just uh, a property damage. The lives were lost as well. And they paid the equivalent of £210 uh, million, uh, pounds, I think, or dollars, uh, dollars to the Swiss. Anyway, so reciprocation. You do something, you're going to get something back. And this works in business as well, for good or for bad. And I see this in how people treat each other. That the, the danger is that if you do something bad to somebody... Obviously, they're going to come back. He said, "Play nice." So we attempt, <laughs> we attempt to play nice in our business, and most I think most people do. You know, we pay people on time. We very rarely, if I don't think we've ever fallen out with anybody. We may have some discussions and disagreements, but we we, uh, we hug and make up, or we socially distance hug and make up now. But anyway, but we play nice. We pay people on time. We don't owe people anything. If there's a dispute or something not right, we fix it. We don't go into you know headlong battle. So what happens is that reciprocate works with negative situations but also positive situations you do something good for somebody something helpful something supportive that remains with them as well and they repay that back to you they just they were hardwired for it now in my experience what happens unfortunately is that negative reciprocation or negative um, consequences they tend to amplify over time it, they, people sort of bear grudges and they get can get worse if you're not very careful positive reciprocation can tend to evaporate over time because people take it for granted that people are going to be nice and do good things. So you've got to be a little bit careful with it. 
if you're going to do something nice for people, keep on doing it. You know, one thing you do bad might get remembered, but you do lots of things good. So you've got to build up the stock on the positive side of the balance sheet, if you like. But people do pay back. They really do. And uh, I find in my career, in my life, where people, after years, repay positivity. Very rarely negativity. I think I've played nice most of my career. So not a lot of negativity out there. But in terms of positivity, uh, it does come back. So it's a good trick in business or a good, a good principle to play by the good rules, be nice, put it out there. It may cost you a little bit of money in the short term, or it may not make as much profit as you could in the short term, but it absolutely works. And uh, that's what comes back. So reciprocation is a key driver, and we're, I think you know, we're hardwired for it. We like to give back what we receive, and that's for, for, for good or for bad. So interesting story about, I think, well, I think interesting story about Switzerland. Um, I hadn't realized that they would uh, shot down the planes. In fact, the planes they shot down that landed, uh, or they escorted them down were their Messerschmitt um, planes. The Americans went back over after the war, repaired them all on the airfields and flew them home again. So uh, they all uh, ended up with a group hug and that was all good. And a check for 200 million, which sort of helped as well. But anyway, there's a story of the, the Swiss Messerschmitt equipped Air Force shooting out of the sky. Some German bombers as well, but also allied British and American bombers. And, of course, James Stewart. So there's my thought for the day for you. Reciprocation, it works really well. Use it in a positive way. Be careful of it in a negative way. Both come back at you. Negative amplifies, but positive can evaporate. So you've got to keep doing it. Keep being nice, basically, and uh, life is good. Have a great day. I'll give you some updates from the garden <laughs> later on today. And uh, have a fabulous weekend. I'll catch you on Monday. And uh, take care. Bye for now.